Hello and welcome back, I'm James Rose and this is Love Esquire. It's been a few days since I last recorded, so I just need to remember where we are. We got the we gave the Ocarina to Vel and got a pink heart with her. We also have a pink heart with Best Girl Giselle. Um We've spent, we had a lot of events with Vel recently, and quite a few of the others, like Giselle's been on there, Beatrice has been on there quite a few times. Uh, we are only a week and a day away from finishing the game though. I kind of imagine the last day will likely have something special, so I doubt we'll get that day. Get a milk from the best girl, Bessie. If only there was a Bessie event. And it looks like we need to go see the princesses in the castle, so let's go see them. Oh, um, I should also mention, between this episode and the last one I recorded, the developers, Yang Yang Mobile, did release a patch which fixed a lot of the voice lines. I think it was like 140,000. So that means that hopefully we shouldn't have nearly as many, if any, voice lines being too quiet, or there were some of the occasional ones that were too loud. Um, so hope, cross fingers, that's all good now. I take my sword and have some... Oh. Oh. There better not be a party happening without me. There they are. W what? One, two, twenty, thirty? Crap. I haven't seen this many nobles since Princess Kamala's welcome party. What's going on? Fellow lords and ladies. Isn't that? You must know that just a few months ago, a foreigner visited our kingdom and came here begging for an alliance. It's Lord Smugface. He's still going on about that? Bullshit, I say. Bullshit! Ah, uh, yes. Only the finest retorts and uh, political slander from Lord Smugface here. That's right! She's nothing more than a spy taking advantage of our hospitality. A spy! Uh oh, I better call the princess before. Lord Dre? Ah, your highness. Excellent timing. To what do we owe this honor, my lord? Ah, your highness. You will find out very soon. I am simply... Manners, Lord Drag. Her Royal Highness is also... Beatrice, please. Her Royal Highness and her Rogni also stand among us. You would do well to show them some modicum of respect. An honor they do not deserve, I assure you, Princess. Especially that. That farce of a diplomat. Is this about the incident in the archives again? We have already discussed this, my lord. Princess Kamala has agreed to limit her activities for your peace of mind. And I, nay, we say it is not enough, your highness. They need to leave. She needs to leave. See this, milady? Your people have spoken. How could we sleep at night knowing that a a troublemaker and a spy is among us. Your proof? It's in her actions, of course. Frequenting the libraries and the markets for information, taking leisurely walks around the castle and the barracks. She knows everything, from our armies to defenses. She has all she needs to hit us where it will hurt. This so-called princess even made an effort to meddle in my affairs. This lying ass. Damn it, is Princess Kamala not going to say anything? Lord Drag, that isn't enough. We need facts. Accusing her of espionage means that you consider the Kingdom of Alcos an enemy. Are you ready to make a claim as heavy as that? I, I, why, yes. Yes, I am. Now he's just talking crap. I, I, can't you see, milady? Your own people do not trust that, that foreigner. 
Get out of our kingdom! Bordemer has not forgotten! Says the noble woman who probably has nothing to do with Bordemer. Well, if she's not going to say anything, I will. Traitor! Liar! Oh, yeah? Well, this guy's smuggling fake out cozy peppers in a cerulea! Why, you! <gasps> a mere squire slandering my name! That's right! The Princess Kamala here caught one of his merchants in the market! What is the meaning of this? <gasps> a co-conspirator! <laughs> Why don't you ask Lady Kaliha then? Heard she was still pissed about the Oriya seeds. Squire. Uh, princess? That is enough. But don't you wanna... There is an appropriate time and place to bring that up. But... She suddenly raises her hand at me, guessing it's time to shut up. Damn, I got shut down. Then she quietly steps forward. What will it take for us to be in agreement, Lord Rig? Could we not settle our differences for the good of our respective kingdoms? If this alliance is not forged, the Gegners... Bah! Nothing! Nothing will ever change my mind! You have slandered my name enough. You are not to be trusted. Princess Beatrice, you cannot... Drag. You cannot simply enter an alliance with the likes of this foreign witch. See this? See this crowd, your highness? The people of Cerulea have spoken. They do not want this alliance. Lord Drag, we've heard enough. But, your highness, our laws. You speak of our laws, and yet you fail to provide any proof for your claims. With all due respect, my lord, until you have brought us evidence, I'm afraid the crown cannot accept this. Impossible! She has poisoned you all! Man, this guy just doesn't show up. Guards, escort them out! No! No! Do not touch me with your filthy hands! You haven't heard the last from me! Mark my words, princess. One day, that witch will stab us all in the back. You'll see. Finally. That's one annoying noble gun. <laughs> Good riddance. <sighs> I wouldn't count on it, squire. That man is persistent. He will be back. I apologize that you had to witness a scene like that, Kamala. Ragni. It is nothing I have not seen in my lifetime, your highness. Still, I would have preferred it if Lord Drag did not create such a scene. There is a time and place for airing such grievances. Ah, <sighs> but let's head back. We still have a treaty to discuss. Kamala? I... I will be with you soon, Shadia. I just... need some time to myself. As you wish. And Shadia, I'm... I'm glad you did not insult his mother like you promised you would. <laughs> would it help our cause? Yes. No. Oh. Exactly. Bummer. Well, do not take long. I had the servants prepare your favorite tea for our meeting, after all. Thank you. Shira? Your Raba warned you about this. I warned you about this. People do not change their minds overnight, princess. It is naive and foolish to believe otherwise, unless you are prepared and willing to claw your way through. You would do well to remember that. Ah, she be rage, tough girl. Uh, princess, you okay? I... I am. There is no need to worry about me. I am simply... I am simply tired. Oh. Um, you need some uh, water or anything? There is no need for it, Squire. I, uh... 
I just... Uh, I... If it would not be too much of a bother, will you... Will you hold my hand? Just for a few seconds. Whatever you want, princess, of course. <laughs> James is very confused. Sure. It's warm, so warm. It's not like a corpse or anything. Ah. It's shaking. Also not like a corpse. Princess? Oh, she's crying. Thank you. Thank you, Squire. She said only for a few seconds, but she doesn't really let go until she stopped crying. An hour later, she let go. And we got 190 points. Nothing in there. You give me an earring, I'll take it. Please. Perhaps we can talk. Here, have some Bessie milk and cheer up. I warmly thank you for this gesture. You are a very thoughtful squire. There we go. Everyone just needs some Bessie milk. Please. Perhaps we can talk. Squire, so far, you have told me of such great feats. You must be such a good fighter. But of course, I'm the best. But with how powerful you are, uh, what does Knight you do? Not a lot. He just sits at the back and cheers me on. Well, as a squire, I also support him. Uh, you know, <laughs> German. Loot stuff for him. Well, I do that. He's the boss. Well, Knight Hugh must be grateful to have a squire as good as you. Of course he is, I'm the best. Are you by any chance close? Close? Tending his wounds, faithfully guarding him in battle. <laughs> from my experience, something more than friendship tends to come from these sort of relationships. What? No! no. Nah, he wishes. No need to be shy. Come, give me some juicy detail. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, someone shouted me. Nineteen points for her. Okay, so two best girls are over in the archive, so we'll go to the plaza and see Beatrice. You got what anything? Would you like to nope. buy today? What you do have though is the ability to buy my crap. And then we're gonna use that to get some cosmetics and we're gonna go to Kamala. Keep and hopefully that'll get her up to a pink I've heart. Been looking for you. You don't get cosmetics. I You're already a princess, you don't need them. <clears throat> I guess so is she. But you don't need them. You're not in a bad mood. Did you know? We used to have seven days per week. A seventh day? What happened to it? One of the past kings outlawed it because a woman he was courting rejected him on that very day. He stripped it off the calendar in a public event that was known as the Daylight Slains. Changes made to the calendar. It must have been quite the nightmare. Though now that I think about it, can you imagine planning your life around seven days? I can't. Nah, six days all the way. Be awful to have seven days on the calendar. Oh, Princess Kamala's ah, here. You're back. So sorry, I. Let's see. We have Amy. We have two girls in the archives, so we should probably go there. Have a sec. Nice to see you. So, Lordimer, what happened next? But only if you're okay now. You'll have to talk about it if you still don't want. It's okay. Don't worry. Anyway, the town welcomed the merchants with open arms. Mama even offered to help house some of them. Sure sounds friendly. 
You have to understand, more merchants meant more trade. At the time, we were so close to becoming a port city to be reckoned with. Back then, we thought that our hospitality would be repaid with certain favors. And for a time, they actually helped out. Mostly just small stuff here and there. Like house repairs, guard duty, some even helped us fish. Mama even got first pick to a really expensive set of Alcozy silk. I felt so proud back then, since I was the one who found the merchants. I felt like I'd really done my part in helping everyone out. But alas, you did not. Ah, uh, Giselle. Nice to see you. Um, Hi. You, you don't like a lot of things, but let's try this. So, Giselle, any other stuff you're afraid of? Spiders. Yes. Finding wet books after the rain. My collection of seafarer serene. Ruined. Yikes! One day, I will get my revenge. <laughs> On the weather? Good luck. Against who? The rain? Yes. I'll find a way. Yeah, I should have given her the ocarina. If I ever play through the game again, she's getting it. I do have part of a playthrough. Um, we don't appear... Well, Amy's going to be in the tavern later, so let's head there. She's the only one we haven't spoken to today. Oh, she's actually over here. Okay. Oh, actually, um... Oh, no, I gave you Bessie milk, didn't I? Yes, so I can't give you the cosmetics now. I'll give you them tomorrow. Yo, what's up? Nope, have I finished talking to you about everything? I haven't really given Amy any gifts, so... We might have finished all the conversation topics. Good, bro. See this flower oh, no, on there we head? go. It's called Tender's Crown. There's a little field of them growing in the farm. They bring you safety, and as long as you keep one with you, you'll always find your way back home. My mum used to tell me that when I was a kid. Your mum? Do, do you think I'm being silly? Yes. No. That actually sounds like a superstition I can really get behind. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's good to know I've got flowers watching my sister's back when I'm not around. <laughs> yeah. And now it's probably too late for us to go anywhere else. We've also spoken to all the girls today. I will double check there is not an event, which I'm very doubtful of there being, and there's not. So we will call that a day. And it looks like we can actually get two days into this episode. So let's save. This is fine, Amy. Thank you. Oh, morning, bro. Morning, Amy. Hey, Hugh. What's up? This is the star of Hugh's romance ending. Kiddo, you're finally awake. You better get ready in a few. Oh, we only have a week left, don't we? Get ready for what? Training. We're going to visit a good friend of mine. Good friend? You a big perv like you? Hmm. You could say that. So, get ready. I want to see him soon. Who's this friend of yours? Well, it's the king. Oh, that's right. I remember the princess saying something about that. Yup, I was good friends with the king. You know how I didn't start out like a typical knight, right? Yeah, you were. Uh, a bush knight or something? It's called hedge knight. Close enough. Anyway, he saw how talented I was. Next thing you know, he made me one of his most trusted knights. And here we are. I've got a lot to be thankful for because of him. I thought it'd be nice to pay him a visit. Well, that's nice of you, but why today all of a sudden? I got word from the princess. The king, he isn't getting any better soon. Oh. Well, he's I'm been sorry. like four Just months. It's kind second. of a given at this point now. Thanks, kiddo. Sorry, Princess. There is nothing else I can do. Thank you for your time, Doctor. 
Princess Beatrice. Sir Hugh, Squire, I am glad you two could make it. How is he? It is as we feared. If you'd excuse me for a moment, I'd like to see him. Of course. I am sure that he will be glad to see you. You wait here. Keep the princess company. No problem. Okay, so it's not a Hugh event, it's a princess event. Princess, will you be okay? Thank you for coming here today. Damn, I really ho hoped I for the Hugh event. Gesture. Do not worry about me. I will be fine. She says that, but it looks like she hasn't slept for days. Uh, yeah, that one. I need to let her know she isn't alone. Princess, just tell me if you need anything. If you want someone to talk to, I'm right here. Like I said, I will be fine. Thank you for the concern. Marshal Flinkman, I'm sorry, but this might not be a good time. What is this nonsense, Sir Grand? I have served the king dutifully for years. Have I no right to see him now? I'm sorry, but the princess insists on... I'll have none of that from the child! Now, let me pass. Ah, another dickhead noble. Marshal, I can't let you... Sir Grand, let him through. I allow it. As you command, your highness. What are you doing here, Marshal? I am here to see the king, of course. I am one of his subjects. I could have been here sooner if a certain someone informed me of his condition. Are you truly here to see him? Yes, I am. Then I will grant you the time you need to be here. You will have to wait, however. Sir Hugh is with my father currently. Then I will wait. Princess Beatrice, we are at odds. But I am truly sorry about your father. We had our differences. Why, we would even argue for days and call each other names. Despite everything, he listened to his advisors. Thus, he was respected and ruled well. The only thing I regret is that he did not listen to my advice on Bordemer. It is unfortunate, but his final decision of not involving the Alcozi was a miscalculation. I told him that this would not sit well, especially for its people. Oh damn, Marshal Flinkman, actually, just gained some points for that. He would be wasting the efforts of people like Sir Grand who fought for the town's safety. You saw it all, didn't you, Sir Grand? Oh no, don't bring this up with Sir Grand. Princess, you are a young girl being misguided by these foreigners. They cloud your judgment. Let me guide you. You need someone with wisdom and experience. Leave, Marshal. Now I'm in charge of guiding her. I'm the advisor now. What? What is the meaning of this? You have no right. I said leave. My father is on his deathbed. You bother me again with this tirade. But you must listen. And I am tired of repeating myself. Leave! <laughs> and here I thought we both could be civil. Well, he's better than Lord Smugface. Can I not have just one moment of quiet? I apologize, Princess. I take responsibility for this. I should have stopped him. You have done nothing wrong, Sir Grand. Now, I must excuse myself. Of course, Princess. I'll be here waiting for you. Yes. And I thank you again for the visit. Can we get like 200 points, please? Ah, good enough. Hey, there we go. Uh, not for you. Fears. Princess, is there anything you're afraid of? I... I have no fears. As a member of Cerulean royalty, I was raised to be fearless. Really? You sure about that? Uh, of course. 
Such is necessary for a strong ruler. Go on, ask around. You will find that I have no weaknesses. It's not like I have some deep-seated irrational fear that I keep hidden from everyone close to me. That would be silly. Oh, excellent. We need to continue down that you know, line of princess, dialogue. That sort of makes me even more curious. There's nothing to find. This conversation is over. <laughs> sure thing, princess. For now, anyway. We'll be coming back to that one. Why, hello there. I brought this for you. Me so much. Careful. I might get used to it. That's what I'm hoping for. We need a pink heart with you. Squire. What the coin? Squire. Another question. What else can you do? Nothing. Well, with the latest advancements in foldable parchment technology, I can inspire you with the very definition of beauty. What do you mean? I show you a picture of boobs, and it makes him stronger. Really? Is the power of the boob really so strong? But of course. It's the strongest. Of course, princess. It can move a grown man to feats of amazing badassery that split the very world in half. I see. I should note that then. I must introduce this technology to Alcos. I think Alco already has plenty of it. But you certainly do. Oh, plaza. Ugh, boring. Damn it, fertility guards some action would be nice. Come on, give me something to work with. Ah, who am I kidding? Please, stop! Alright, time for me to... Princess Kamala? What's she doing here? I mean you no harm! Get out of our kingdom! Leave! You ain't welcome here! Uh, please! I, I only wish to... Ah! Get lost! Traitor! Uh, please, everyone, I... How can she be a traitor? She's not part of the kingdom. People are stupid. Ah! Spy! These idiots. Hey! You stop! You ruffians! She's the king's guest! You mingers want to be hanged for treason, huh? Go get him, lady. <sighs> Run! Yeah, that's right! Run, you cowards! Pfft! <sighs> Bloody-minded blighters. Are you okay, your highness? I... yes. I am well, madam. No, you're not! They made a mess out of your dress! There is no need to fret. This is a small thing compared to what would happen should I fail my mission. I... I cannot let that happen. I would not be able to live with myself. She sure does love a kingdom, huh? But she can't just allow him to do this to her. Um... Yeah, fight back. Believe me, Squire, I want to, but what good would pointing my sword at these people do? It would only drive them further away. Uh, if you kill them, though, then there's less people to speak up against you. God damn it. Tell me there. Man, politics is hard. Though, come to think of it, this kind of reminds me why I wanted to be a Squire in the first place. Right, right, politics. Now stay put while I clean this mess. Those twats, I swear. Madam, please, I can have my servants. Shh, 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 shh. Just, just let me do this, okay? You saved my brother. This is the least I could do. Just like that, she starts wiping at the mess in the princess's dress. B brother? Uh, oh, who am I kidding? Pretty sure you don't even remember him. We're just... N no, please, do go on. I would like to hear about your Rakik. Well, he's... he's still in prison. Bloody idiot did try to steal something. Oh, I think I remember that guy now. He's your brother?! Yep. And if it weren't for you, he'd probably be stuck in an infirmary now. Or, you know, dead. So, thanks. 
you helped him in more ways than one, you know? I bet he's never working for that Lord Drag ever again because of this. Good. It isn't good work, you know? I didn't like it. Smuggling, trouser trade, black market stuff those dirty cerulean rats didn't want the crown to know about. Oh, wow. Girl, you need to testify. They hire peasants like us for it, because, let's face it, we're disposable to them. Oh, boy. <laughs> I know another princess is going to be pissed about that. Not saying that what my brother did was right, okay? I ain't bailing him out of that place. Damn him. Stealing just so he could buy me some bloody dancing shoes. Oh, so that's why. Anyway, he'll be out in a few months. That's what Princess Beatrice promised us. If the war doesn't reach us, he said he'll try to do some good. Maybe find a job. The honest kind. Can you believe that? So, um, thanks, I guess. Not every day you see a noble doing something like that for us. I had no idea. Well, now you know. And I hope this alliance thing of yours works out. Just between you and me, I think... I think the world could use more people like you. You know, the nicer, trustworthy kind. I hope that I will be able to live up to your expectations. Princess? She's probably still worried about Lord Smugface. There! All done! You have my gratitude, madam. I'm just paying back what I owe you. Uh, well, my brother, but you get what I mean. Doesn't matter. I'll see you later, your highness. It was really nice talking to you. That lady sure is lively, huh? Uh, you okay, your highness? So certainly, of course. Let us head back. Can I hold your hand again? Huh? Already? I do not want Shadia to worry. Ah, but I want to spend more time with her. Let me escort you back. Man, I knew Lord Drake was smuggling more than just spices, huh? I wonder what Princess Beatrice would say when she finds out. Princess Kamala? Kamala! Oh, oh I apologize. I did not notice we were here. Nah, that's fine, but... You look really out of it today. But I'm in here, Squire. Not out. Uh... It means you don't look okay, Princess. Oh, oh, I see. I am well, Squire. I simply have much to think about. Uh, do not worry about me. Ah. Just leave you here, I guess. Of course. Thank you, Squire. Right. See you later, Princess. Man, she looks like she could use some sleep. Maybe Amy knows something that could help her with that. Oh, Squire. Hmm? A moment, please. I, I just. I. Why did you give me a pink heart? Gone. I apologize. I had it in my head that this would be easy. Uh, no worries, Highness. You can take your time. N no, I... I will admit, you are not what I expected. And in the short time that I have stayed in your kingdom, I have also come to treasure your simple and crude mannerisms. Aw, oh, shucks, you shouldn't say that. I'm, I'm not good enough for you. But I... I, uh... Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Is this, is this what they call a, a love confession? <laughs> That's just me. Badass squire and... No, I have learned from them a lot. I assure you, from both you and Shadia. I did not expect that I would make such relations in your kingdom, and yet... And yet... You and Shadia have been nothing but good to me. It is why... It is why that I feel I owe you the truth, Squire. She's actually a lesbian. Jumping Lady of the Lake, it is a confession. 
<laughs> Whatever it is, princess, I will accept it wholeheartedly. She fancies Princess Beatrice. You, you will? But, Squire, do, do you understand what you are saying? If an alliance does not happen, if Alcos and Cerulea cannot come to an accord before the war, I... You got like five days, you'd be right. I would have to. There you are, your highness. Wait, what? What? I bring urgent news, my lady. Damn, interrupted right at the best moment. A missive from your rather. Must be real big, because Lady Shura just hands her a letter and urges her to read it. I wonder what it says. But, but this... Th this is... Is all of this true? My people have said the same thing, my lady. We do not have much time. Alcos does not have much time. Did you honestly think they would wait this long? Shira, I... What are we supposed to do? My Raba and Rakik, they could not have... It is done. We simply have no other choice now. I told you this would come. You knew this would come. I had hoped it would not. Naivety has no place in politics, princess. I know. Kamala, you were saying something before? I apologize. I must leave. Ragni Shira, I need you to deliver a missive to my Raba. You must leave tonight. As you wish. What? Thank you, Squire. You were a wonderful companion today, as always. I wish you well, and... And may the goddess both look upon us with favor after this. No! No, screw the goddess. <laughs> we were so close. So close. Oh, I didn't get many points there, but I got what I wanted, so that's alright. I also got some cheese. Anything for me, doggo? Nope. Stupid dog. Um, let's go see Vel. Um, I don't think you like that. So, Vortimer again? Yes, tell me all of your secrets. As long as you're okay with it. Get it off your chest. I am. Your very small it chest. Helps. This helps. And where did I leave off again? Oh, yeah. One night, as I was out exploring the cliffside again, I saw some of them. The merchants. I thought they were just hanging out drinking or maybe playing cards. Then, as I got closer, they, they were talking about having ships coming in the next day. About weak spots in the town's defense. About... about killing people. It soon became pretty obvious that these guys weren't actually merchants at all. Those guys, they were the pirates. So the whole merchant thing, the shipwreck, they were all lies? Yeah. Though it is quite possible that they were in fact shipwrecked. Probably got hit by a storm after raiding a merchant ship. That would explain why they had so many wares. Those opportunistic bastards. Once they managed to pass themselves off as merchants, they probably realized that they were in the perfect position to infiltrate our town. It was all my fault. I, I should have never let them in. The entire town. I... I... But that's not your fault. You don't understand. They... they caught me. They caught me eavesdropping on them. One of them, a big man with a beard tied up in gold string, he was one of the guys we were housing. He was sharpening his knife. Told me that I interrupted a very important meeting. Well, you did. He said that little girls should keep things to themselves. And he started just talking about my parents. How Mama was sewing a particularly small dress in her study. How my father always drank a bottle of beer before he retired for the night. How I would always pick at the fish bones during meals. How it would be so easy for him to, to take it all away. And all the while, he was just sharpening his dagger. 
The metal screeched every time he swiped it against the whetstone. He told me that little girls should help their family out, and that the best way to do it would be to keep all of this a secret. What kind of sicko threatens little girls like that? Nothing is beneath those cozy pirates. I ran. I ran all the way home after that. Under the covers, I just closed my eyes. Everything seemed so scary. The darkness, the creaking of the floorboards, even the crashing of the waves weren't enough to rock me to sleep that night. Door. Poor girl. What a tragic backstory. Um, we haven't spoken to you. Then I think we're just missing Amy today. Hi. Is there anything else you're afraid of? Not sure. Come on. What about bugs? Court jesters? Heights? Really angry swans? Yeah, swans are bad. Geese are even worse. Blooming geese. Lettuce. What? Lettuce. Gross. That's not being afraid. That's just food you don't like. Lettuce is evil. Trust me. Okay, no more lettuce. Then I'm pretty sure we're just missing Amy, so she needs to go to the tavern. Hi there, nice to see ya. Nope. Come on, Amy, there's gotta be something I can talk to you about. Oh, here's another one. If you get lost in the forest, it's probably the spirits playing a trick on you. But don't worry, to find your way back, all you have to do is take your clothes off and put them on again inside out. It confuses the spirits. It confused me as well if I saw that. Wait. Why not stop at the first step? Take your clothes off and leave it at that. Sounds like it'll make one hell of a story. <laughs> because that's not how it works. You ain't gonna get your way by stripping for some forest spirits. I don't know, sis. Have you ever tried it? Because it sounds like a very viable mode of attack. <laughs> then why don't you go try it then? I might do. You know what? Maybe I will. Mark my words! I shall master the ways of the stripper. Okay, so that's everyone today, and there's no one left around, so that's all for today. We have finished our first day of the last week. Hopefully, we'll get an event pretty much every day, although it will mean we'll probably end up having. Oh, look at that, guys. Just missing one. Um, I'm pretty sure you can only romance one of the girls. If my understanding is correct, I think I've said this before, in order to get the harem ending, you need to have rom like finished each girl's ending already. Um, so you need to play the game five times, and so on the sixth time, you could then get the harem ending. So we can only get with one of them, um, which means getting them all to pink hearts doesn't mean anything apart from just for having got them there. I think the next one up is probably the red heart, which means you've got their ending. So we're only missing Amy. I don't really care about Amy, though. Uh, we'll just leave Amy alone. She is our sister, after all. No uh, no inbreeding on this channel. Thank you. But that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. In the meantime, have a very nice day. Bye-bye.